Okay, in today's video, we're going to look at this alternator. This came off my 2003 Jeep TJ with a 4.0 engine. I believe this is like 117 amp or something like that. You can just Google that number and it'll be able to tell you. But as shown in the previous troubleshooting video, as you can see, the casing is all broken up here. And that was one of the causes. But you can see it's really stiff to turn it over but what this video is going to be about we're going to strip this alternator down just so that you guys can see whoever is interested is what exactly is inside an alternator what makes this thing work so let's get started the first thing we're going to do is remove this back cover we have to remove these three little nuts i think i'd remove that one and then we'll be able to pull that cover off Pull this off, but you gotta loosen it up enough that you can pull the shield out. different types of alternators there's a delta and then there's the y they can be identified on the stator here this one's got four wires four terminals one two three four so this is a y where your delta will only have three terminals coming off the stator so basically the y wound stator has three windings with a common neutral junction they can be identified because they have four stator lead ends talking about the differences between the y and the delta Basically, in a nutshell, the Y stators are used in alternators that require high voltage output at a low alternator speed. Note the keyword, high voltage. The delta stator allows for higher current flow being delivered at low RPM. Notice the difference. One is for current, one is for voltage. Assume the common neutral one on this stator would be this one right here because all the other windings, there's two on this one, two on this one that I ripped off, and two on this one. And this one has six, so I'm going to guess this one is going to be the common neutral. When we look at the rotor here, you can start seeing evidence of where it was touching on the stator. And it was because of that, it was starting to short out. And as you can see how black it is, especially between these fingers. I'll try to get a light in there. And you can see it was starting to burn up. And that's what that's that smelling that electrical burning smell was coming from you can see right inside here as i get a better look in there you could just see even the stator here was starting to burn up you could see all the evidence and as you're starting to melt because once the rotor's inside here There is not a lot of room. Like it's a fine line between this, between the rotor and the stator. So with that casing being cracked and distorting it ever so much, it was causing enough that it was getting the touch. And that's why when I was driving, the voltage would drop and I start smelling, you know, electrical smell as if something was burning, as if something was gonna start on fire. And then it would kick in and kick out is because the alternator was starting to short out. But we have it apart right now. Now, of course, in the video, if you were going to spend the time to rebuild it, you probably wanted to have a little bit more finesse than I did when taking it apart because I didn't really care. I was just stripping the whole thing down. I want to see what was in it you know what made this thing work what was happening with it i had a feeling that was the problem 
because obviously the case was cracked. But now you can see the evidence clearly on the rotor and stator evidence of a touching and burning up. Anyways, I'm going to leave the video at that on what was happening to my alternator. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.